well, slap by hand. I was going to show you an entire video of painting these aspen trees up here, and I got to painting and totally forgot. So we're going to catch it coming into the middle of it. It's, we used to live one time in San Diego, California, and we'd get the paper. And Jack loved getting the Sunday paper because it had all the football games and what time and what channels they were on and everything. And one Sunday, we didn't get the newspaper, and he was getting a little upset. Just, where's my newspaper? Where's my newspaper? And so I called the, called the newspaper, and they contacted the carrier, and she brought us a paper. And she, little old lady, she came up, and she said, beat me with a pepper stick. She said, I totally, she said, I drove right by here. I got everybody else, and I forgot to give you my paper, and please forgive me. And, of course, Jack gave her a huge hug and said, of course, I forgive you, but can I steal your expression? So beat me with a pepper stick. But anyway, here we are. I'm painting the birch trees, and I've done the trunks. I showed in my blog, I showed the step-by-step -step of how I paint the trunks, and I painted them completely solid, the, the white with the shadows on the sides, the lights coming in from the left. And then after I paint the tree, the, the creamy white, then I go back and add the little dark spots where the bark is, is cracked and shows the underlying part of the trunk. And if you want to go to my blog, the link is in the description below. And I show the complete step-by-step -step process of the painting on my blog. The videos, I just do an occasional video now and then. But anyway, here we are. I am using, now I'm painting the yellow leaves. And these are, mix, this, I've got several mixtures here, or three mixtures. This is a mixture of my cadmium yellow medium plus mud. The mud is two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson. Then I have added a little bit of cadmium orange into that too, and just a touch of white. Then my other two mixtures, the lighter, the middle, and the light shades, are the same paints in the mixtures, they're just different proportions. In the lighter mix, there's more yellow and white, and then the medium mix is in between. The tree, the leaves, some of these leaves in the background, do catch the light and they just glimmer in the sun but I basically want to keep these leaves back behind my trunks right here darker the darkest mixture I just work carefully around my trunks and now the as we come forward, some of these leaves now start coming in front of the, these trunks back here. And so I'm using my medium shade, my middle shade, middle value shade. And I'll, this is painted on a gallery wrap canvas. And so I will later, I'll step on a little stool and get make sure that top is totally covered, but I'm just going to kind of reach up and do a little bit there. So this is my medium shade and I start coming back in here and adding some leaves over these trunks. Sure, I don't know if I mixed up enough paint. Usually I mix too much but every once in a while I don't get enough. And you can see where those trunks go back. I'm going to have a little kind of a, some leaves tucked down in here between, between my trunks, kind of go over. That helps to add depth into the painting. And then I'm going to take this trunk up a little bit with my color. This is a mixture of my mud, plus a little bit of cadmium orange, plus white, plus a little more ultramarine blue. And I just want some of that trunk to show up through those leaves. Again, that gives the depth. Now I don't like that stroke I just put in there, so I can take that out.
these aspens or birch, I don't know if aspen and birch are exactly the same, but they're very similar if they're not. The, the leaves are really lacy, just kind of get little, little dots, kind of. Okay, now, let's come around the side of the canvas here. I think you can see that. I'm going to come here with my lighter mixture and start... over, get that covered, come around, start. Now I, I, I put a lot of paint on my brush. So you can see, I like, you know, I want this to be really heavy texture. If somebody were blind when this painting is dry, I want them to be able to rub their hands over that painting and feel, feel that foliage, feel those leaves. A lot of people even think I use palette knife, but I don't. I just pile a bunch of paint up on my brush and lay it on the canvas. Notice how I'm just, I hold the brush very lightly and I just let that, let those come down, let those strokes come down. I'll bring some light out here. I did not make mix enough paint. I need to mix a little bit more. Oh. I need to put out some more cadmium yellow medium. I use Winton oil paints, Windsor Newton, they're Winton oil color, and I get it in these 200 milliliter tubes. And this paint is perfectly good. Um, the pigments in it are wonderful. We use a lot of this. And Jack started using these paints and he's used these on $60,000 portraits. So don't ever think that they're not good enough. Now there are special colors that we can't get in the Winton oils and so we buy those you know, Rembrandt or Da Vinci or some of the other um, paint manufacturers. But this, this Winton is a good good grade oil paint that is really great, great paint. And then I just bring, bring this down. Now this painting will take a while to dry, particularly these leaves. But we just want those, I want that texture in there. I'm going to bring some down here. Now I'm going to take a very fine, I can find my little, now what did I do with my little bitty brush? There it is. Okay. All right. I'm going to now make some of the little twigs and stuff that come down. And I'm using some of my trunk color. And I just bring a little, this is a very fine brush, and I just bring those little twigs down. I just drag them through the wet paint. The trees in the background are still wet, so it's very easy to, to drag these. Here's, there's our birch trunks and the leaves. Really paints very quickly. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and do visit my blog. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my video. You have a wonderful, wonderful day and tell somebody that you love today. Just say I love you. You have a great day. Bye-bye.